Yo, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And in this video, what we're going to be talking about is a very, very easy and working money glitch here in GTA 5 Online. Now, I know it is unfortunate, but you will need a friend to help you out with this glitch. But uh, we're not going to waste much time at all. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, please feel free to smash that like button. And if you are new around here, also consider subscribing as well. It really would help out the channel. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into some requirements here first. Uh, for the duper here, what you need is a bunker. All right, so you will need a bunker. And in addition to having the bunker, you will also need to own a high-end apartment or house here that has the heist room in it all right guys so make sure you have the a apartment or house that has the heist room in it uh so in my case i will be using the eclipse towers with the heist room all right uh you guys will also need to own some fagios now we will be duplicating over these fagios so you will be losing these fagios uh but go ahead and store them inside of your apartment or house that has the heist room okay go ahead and just store them in that garage uh and then also we uh will be duplicating a gargoyle uh, upgraded to the arena version, uh, the death bike. All right, so we will be duplicating a motorcycle here, uh, and this will earn us roughly $1.4 million for each duplicate. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and make sure you do have a fully upgraded uh, arena death bike. All right, a couple more things here. It is recommended to be in free aim. All right, uh, we will need to join somebody random off our friends list here in just a second. And since most people do play in assisted aim, uh, being in free aim will just help us with that. All right, guys. Now, we will also need to be able to register as a motorcycle club president to access our, our uh, motorcycles and whatnot through our MC options. Uh, so you will need a MC clubhouse as well. That is for both you and your friend. Uh, and then another thing here uh, for the duper, you will need a heist invite, a uh, Lester heist invite to the apartment heist uh, basically, you want to go ahead and complete a setup. So just the uh, first Felicia job setup, go ahead and complete that, and you'll start getting uh, Lester heist invites on your phone to the uh, heist in your heist room, okay? Now that we have the requirements out of the way, what we're going to do is request for a Fagio through our MC options in our interactions menu. And once we get on the Fagio here, we're just going to pull it up close to the yellow circle here. All right, make sure you don't go too close so you don't actually pull in. Uh, but we're going to pull it pretty close to the bunker here, just like this. Uh, what we're going to do is stand right next to the Fagio, and we're going to basically have our friend here uh, prepare himself to shoot us and kill us, all right? Uh, before we go ahead and do that, what we're going to do is join somebody random from our friends list who is playing in a different targeting mode. Now, if you do not know for sure if they are indeed in a different targeting mode, what you can do is on the first alert here, you can go ahead and join them for a second time, and it should add automatically switch to the targeting mode alert. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, decline the targeting mode alert. All right. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and accept the first alert and decline the targeting mode alert. Um, we're going to go ahead and join them for a second time. Basically, we're going to do this first just to prep the alert so it comes in quicker when we actually need it. All right, guys. So here we're going to go ahead and join them again to prep the alert. Uh, that way it does, like I said, come in quicker when we actually need it. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and have our friend here shoot us uh, and kill us. All right. Once he kills us, the moment that we... Um, die here. We're going to immediately go ahead and join that random person who's playing it in a different targeting mode. Once you come back to the game here, uh, you will only receive the targeting mode alert. That's the only alert you will get. So go ahead and just decline the targeting mode alert as soon as possible. Uh, and then immediately hit square or X if you're on Xbox to start up a 1v1 deathmatch with your buddy. And then immediately jump on the Fagio and pull up to the yellow circle or where the yellow circle will be. You may or may not receive a little bit of a black screen here, but then you will get an animation of actually pulling into the bunker. Once you get this animation, immediately bring open your phone and accept that Lester Heist invite to your heist room in your apartment. Okay, guys? Now, if you were quick enough and you did accept the heist invite while you're going through the animation, you should, should have a infinite black loading screen right here. Uh, once you're on this infinite black loading screen, what we're going to do is basically join somebody random off our friends list and decline the alert, all right? Now, once you're on the alert, you should hear yourself falling through the map. Go ahead and just decline the alert. Uh, if you cannot get a alert to pop up, just have your buddy start up a mission for you uh, and then uh, basically join him and then just decline the alert once you get it. And you will finish falling through the map, and as you've seen, you will actually die once you fall through the map. Uh, once you spawn back up here, what we need to do is go ahead and disband as an MC president. So go ahead and disband your uh, MC business here. 
from there your friend is going to send you a invite to their mc uh, so go ahead and accept the invite to their mc on your phone here to become a prospect once you do that you're going to bring open interaction menu go into the mc options and you're going to now request for your death bike all right the vehicle that we are duplicating uh, go ahead and request for the death bike once you request for the death bike uh, what we need to do from there is go ahead and make our way now to our uh, MC business okay once we are here at our MC business with the death bike we are going to go ahead and pull into the garage you should just pull in just like this uh, and then after a little bit of a loading screen here you're going to notice that we will immediately spawn over at our uh, apartment garage just like so so very very cool guys uh, basically what happened here is I did have a Fagio stored there and this death bike uh, basically just replaced the Fagio that I had called out earlier so perfect guys we are good to go from here this is the duplicate inside of the garage and as you see uh, our personal vehicle or the original death bike is outside all right so very very cool from there what you want to do to to make sure it does save is go ahead and just swap it around uh, to another slot here in your garage uh, that way you do make sure that it does save all right now I'm gonna go ahead and run outside here just to show you guys visually uh, that the original death bike is indeed outside here as my personal vehicle uh, so yeah this one is the original and the duplicate is stored inside of your garage here essentially replacing the fagio that you had called out earlier but uh, that is going to cover it for this one here i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i do appreciate y'all for staying tuned in this has been your boy high guy and until the next one i'm out peace